I was younger, everybody kind of wanted me on their team. I remember all the parents saying how good I was going to be, telling me that I was going to be in the NFL one day. By world standards, I was a successful person as a high school student, as a college student. I had all the friends, all the girls. Everyone liked me, everybody loved me. I had nothing I needed. I had everything. And so I didn't think I needed God. I grew up in a Christian home. I knew all the stories, everything about Jesus, but it seemed a little bit more like a, a fairy tale to me than actual real life. When I was younger, uh, I was the athletic kid, you know. Sports came easy to me. Yeah, all the praise used to just drive me. Look at Landry, maybe want to be the best at everything. He's so good at basketball, he's so good at football. You want to just keep getting more and more and more of it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a drug. After winning a football game, you just, you're on this high. I basically had the world at my fingertips and I was just reaching out and grabbing it, everything that I could and just kind of just stuffing it in my pockets just filling my life with earthly things and not heavenly things. About my uh, junior year of high school, I got my first offer. I decided to go to Oklahoma. I was going to go in there, and I was going to start, and I was going to play immediately. So I get to Oklahoma thinking that this was going to be exactly like high school. I was pretty, pretty naive thinking that I was going to come in and take Sam's spot, but Obviously, that wasn't going to happen. So when I stepped on campus the first day, my identity was stripped away from me. Everything that I put my faith, my hopes and dreams in was stripped from me. I started believing the lies that Satan had spoken into me in high school, that without football, without sports, I was worthless. Everyone hated me. Why am I even here on this earth if I can't play football? I believed those lies so much, I became sad and Lonely, and I went through a state of depression for that first year of college. You know, when I walk into practice, I just have a bad attitude. No one wanted to hang out with me or anything like that. When everybody be having a good day, I'd try to drag them down so I'd feel better about myself. I was just drowning. And it was like Satan just pushing me deeper and deeper and deeper under the water. So I kept feeding my sinful nature, kept feeding it all this trash. Started really getting into drinking, trying to get all the girls. I was sick all the time. My stomach was in knots. So I get done with that first year of college, not knowing if I want to continue at OU. I don't know if I wanted to quit. I just wanted to crawl in a hole and just be left there alone all by myself. I don't know if I wanted to keep living. How can I go through another miserable year like that? I just wanted to die. This is when God comes in and just drastically changes my life. And it was literally God showing up in the room saying, here I am, Landry. You've been going through all these things. You've been chasing after worldly dreams. And he freed me from all like the depression that I had, all the sadness, all the loneliness that I've ever been through. It was, it was probably one of the greatest moments of my life. I just remember feeling just so much love just pouring into me and saying that he didn't care where I was. He didn't care what I had done. All he wanted was me instead of I was Landry Jones the athlete. I was Landry Jones the son of God and that's what my identity was in now. My life just has been drastically different. I've just been, I've never felt happier in my entire life. It's the internal joy that God speaks into you. In the end of times, it's not really going to matter if I'm a Hall of Fame quarterback or a great college quarterback or anything like that. It's going to matter what I did on this earth and how I used my gifts for God. My name is Landry Jones, and I am second.